Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this juniper I wired at the beginning of the year. I'm going to take the wire off and just see how well everything is set. Um, I would imagine that some of the branches are set but some of them may need rewiring but as we're going to be um, restyling the tree completely I think it's best I'll take the wire off and we can have a look and see where it's at. I think I've done a video on this before but all I'm going to do is going to go in and cut back to a coil just so we're not trying to peel that wire off yeah and we can uh, make sure we try and save the, the bark so we're not like, damaging the tree in any way okay it's, it's best to do it this way otherwise you know you could end up opening up a big wound and you know seems as we're technically going well we are in autumn um, we kind of need to avoid big open wounds if we can so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole tree and I'm just going to repeat the process all the way along and remove every single piece of wire. So what I'll do is I think I will just crack on with that so I can get it on my table outside and then I'll come back. So the next plan after the wire's off is to go in and do what we call cleaning out. So we're going to go in, take all of the weak foliage off, keep anything stronger and hopefully promote back budding. So for anyone who's unfamiliar with um, what we do with our junipers, um, so this has been left to grow full season um, unchecked and the only reason was is because the tree was very weak and now what we've got is on the ends you can see just there there's a strong bit of foliage all right and behind that all these little flimsy bits here are very weak so what we do is we go in and we get rid of all the weak okay and we just favour the strong. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through each branch and I'm going to check which bit needs to go, which bit needs to stay, and I'm going to get rid of the weak foliage, leave all the strong foliage, okay? And then this will then grow and we can decide over time which bits we're going to keep and which bits we're going to get rid of. But at the minute, this is very early progression, okay? So all I want to do is really is clean out the stuff that I know for a fact this tree is going to drop. Yeah, and we'll leave anything that's going to need to grow. So I'm going to go back onto my turntable and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff that I've just been talking about and then I'm going to bring the tree back to you. Okay, um, there's no point in you seeing me do that a million times over. So that was the idea of the process. Yeah, okay, so I've got the juniper fully cleaned out. Um, took off anything unwanted, uh, anything that I thought that the tree was going to just drop anyway, we just took out and just opened it up, let some air in, and hopefully we'll start to get, we're already seeing, uh, bat budding. So plan moving forward with this tree is I'm going to leave it through winter, I'm not going to put any wire on. Come early spring, I'm going to go in with some high nitrogen fertiliser, and I'm just going to push it right the way through the growing season like that. Hopefully what I'll do then is I'll, I'll get the momentum up in the tree, you know, get the energy going. Then towards the end of next year, I should be able to sort of make the decision that potentially we could start to, to rewire and position branches again. There might be a few that I will remove as well looking at it, but I need the growth first. I don't want to shock the tree. I need this growth on here at the minute to gain the energy that we need so as the well. The idea of this work that we just carried out is so that we don't end up with all of our growth on the ends. Like when, when I picked this tree up, that's basically what had happened. All the growth was on the end and there was nothing back here. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get it so we've got growth all the way along the branch. So I hope you all like that little video and I hope you all like my new little setup I've got going on. Could you let me know in the comments um, what this actually looks like and then that way I can try and tweak it if I need to to make it look that little bit better with the lighting or whatever. Um, if you did like it, could you just hit the like button for me? That would be great. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, thanks to everyone that already follows me and I will see you again next week. Take care.